Hello Internet, welcome to another Antenna Array tutorial. This tutorial focuses an enhancement of Enfire Array, which is known as Hanson Woodyard Enfire Array. Hanson Woodyard proposed this modification in Enfire Array to increase the directivity of an Enfire Array. Before I jump into the tutorial, I'd like to mention that I'm really thankful for all the views that you have given me on the tutorials. I really appreciate that and I'll appreciate if you uh, subscribe to the channel and pass on the good word. Now, before we study Hanson Woodyard and Fire Array, I'd like to mention a few points about Enfire Array. The Enfire Array used to have maximas in the direction of 0 and 180 degrees. The maximas are not going to change in Hanson Woodyard also. Now, if we considered a case of four point sources for an N5 array with a spacing of lambda by 4. The progressive phase shift between the elements going from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 can be found out using uh, a simple technique or formula that says the progressive phase shift should be equal to minus beta d and that should give us 2 pi by lambda into our distances lambda by 4 so it gives me pi by 2 which is equal to 90 degrees phase shift between the progressive elements. So in other words going from 1 to 2 there is a phase shift of 90 degrees in the signal. From 2 to 3 there is going to be an additional phase shift of 90 degrees and so on. And similarly if we wanted to calculate for this case where we have 8 elements and they are separated by a distance of lambda by 2 and the progressive phase shift would come out to be equal to 180 degrees. Now this the number of increase in the elements results in increased directivity but it also increased the number of side lobes. For example the radiation pattern for an N5 array for four elements would look something like this and if we go on to draw the radiation pattern for 8 element and fire array it will have more number of side lobes but the directivity will increase you can see the major lobe is more wide as compared to the major lobe here now Hanson Woodyard proposed that this alpha it should be modified by a factor of pi by n. We should add that factor into alpha. So 
if we want to convert this arrangement of array into Henson Woodyard he suggested that alpha should be kept as minus beta d plus pi by n so a small amount of phase shift is added at each step which is equivalent to in our case it should be equivalent to uh, we calculated beta d as 90 degrees plus an additional phase shift of 180 by 4 which is minus 90 plus 90 so Hanson Woodyard suggested that the progressive phase shift between the elements be increased by a factor of pi by n thereby making the array more directional and trimming off the side lobe so if we go on to draw the radiation pattern for this modified n phi array it should be something like this now it has resulted in two two major improvements firstly uh, the omnidirectional of n phi array has has been modified into a unidirectional array this this array is directing all its energy into east and secondly the uh, the other major lobe is suppressed so we are concentrating all our energies into one direction so the back lobe has taken up this shape we have done away with this major lobe and even if the directivity of this array does not increase the power per unit area increases for sure but Hanson Woodyard and fire array also promises an increased directivity it could be as small as uh, a few radians to uh, many radians and if we modify this n phi array with eight elements uh, mathematics should be as simple as calculating new phase shift between the elements which is equivalent to beta d plus pi by n and our previous beta d was 180 degrees and pi by n results in 180 degrees upon number of elements is 8 so it gives me an angle of an additional I guess 22.5 degrees additional phase shift needs to be added to every angle uh, every consecutive uh, element in the array and this will give us a super directional array something like this with an enhanced directivity in the east direction and side lobes is totally suppressed so this was uh, a super easy interpretation of modifications that we need to make in n-file array 
in order to make it unidirectional, more directional and suppressing one side of the major lobe and the design is pretty simple uh, with these formulas in mind you'll be able to solve numericals and uh, construct this array and I hope this quick and easy tip on designing Hanson Woodyard array was helpful as always thank you so much for watching the video and encouraging me uh, you have a good day and a good life bye bye